headache. It's something which uh, each person might have come across during their lifetime. But unfortunately, there are few who cannot get rid of their headache for whole of their lifetime or maybe they continue having the suffering for, for 4 years, 5 years, 10 years. Many times clinically we see 20 or 25 years old headache which a person can't get rid of it. Headache is a kind of disease where generally there is no major pathology involved inside but at the same time it keeps giving the suffering to a patient for a very very longer period of time. And generally what we have seen is the worst part of the headache is with its management. Generally the people or the patients are having a habit of taking unnecessarily lot of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like NSAIDs like uh, uh, maybe some I won't I, I don't want to take some brand names but uh, a kind of painkillers which is just being dissolved in a water within a couple of seconds and then you just have it and then your headache will be disappear. It is one of the worst way to deal with any pain in the body not only headache any pain in the body. So obviously you know headache goes well for a couple of minutes, for a couple of hours, again the person will be having the same problem for their lifetime. So before moving ahead, anything, you know, the, for about the treatment part, I would like to share few ideas regarding headache, that each headache is having a different cause. If medically I would like to explain, I will explain, there are like no kind of primary headache, secondary headache, but I don't want to go into it. As uh, being a curious patient, I am just trying to share few ideas in your language about headache. That commonly we see clinically that there are six different kind of uh, reasons which causes the headache. One common most is the anemic headache. Common to the girls, you know, when your hemoglobin levels are low, then uh, one is prone to get the headache. The other very common cause is either low or high blood pressure is also a common cause. The third common cause is the sinusitis or the common cold. Whenever a person is having a kind of sinuses which are there here, 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 lot of different sinuses in our head and whenever they are being filled with a lot of cough and it is getting inflamed, inflamed it is termed as sinusitis. So sinusitis is another common reason of uh, the headache. Then one another uh, common thing which nowadays in metro cities, in mega cities uh, we find it very commonly that is a headache because of lifestyle problems like lack of sleep, very much late night sleeps or overuse of the eyes, overuse of the eyes in the computer and laptop, overuse of the mobile screen for the, uh, for the, uh, the time killers which we name it as a games. Then uh, the less sleep, very frequent traveling, uh, overuse of alcohol, post-alcohol hangover, lot of these kind of uh, lifestyle problems which are also giving a uh, headache again and again. And the final one which we see very commonly in our homeopathic OPD and that is a migraine. We see all these kind of uh, headaches in our practice and uh, we have seen this very commonly that if being given a right homeopathic medicine to them then a person's headache is getting disappear uh, within the couple of months or three to six months maximum and then a person can live a pain-free life and that is also the beauty with it is that homeopathic medicines are absolutely harmless it is most of the time made up from the uh, substances which are around us I can recollect one wonderful case of a, a, a headache which was it was diagnosed as a migraine before she came to me and she was a patient came coming from the uh, Jaipur Rajasthan uh, she communicated online that uh, I want a treatment for the headache and then we did a, a detailed uh, case taking case interview in the in the sky and then finally because of looking at the symptoms whatever she told uh, as per our homeopathic analysis, she was needing a homeopathic medicine, Netrum muriaticum, which is uh, a medicine which is uh, made up from other common salt which we use in our daily life. So she was given Netrum muriaticum and uh, fortunately she was absolutely relieved with the Netrum mur just within the span of two to three months and uh, so far still she is in touch because of some other problems but there is no headache so far happened during the whole course of last two years 
the same another case which I can recollect where the person had some emotional trauma and because of that emotional trauma uh, he, he had a severe headache and I just wanted to know what medicine I had given to him uh, yes he was having a headache and depression together and uh, he was given the medicine named as gelsevium prepared from the yellow jasmine flower alkaloids and uh, he went to you know completely he, he was relieved with the help of gelsemium for almost seven to eight months of the treatment after the seven to eight months of treatment so we have seen very commonly that uh, in case of headache in case of headache which is being caused by stress by the emotional trauma uh, by the lifestyle problems uh, by the hemoglobin issues by the lower high blood pressure issues idiopathic headache where no diagnosis is there or because of the migraine in all these cases with the homeopathic treatment of only a year maximum i would rather say one can live a pain free life for the whole of their lifetime so before uh, summarizing uh, the things i would like to say this only three things which you should remember when you are dealing with a headache. Number one is never treat your headache just with the help of painkillers without knowing its cause. This is first thing which you have to remember. The other thing what you need to remember is try and correct the norms of your life. It is very important to treat your headache. In spite many times that we give the homeopathic medicine or somebody may give you Reiki or somebody may give you music therapy but unless and until you yourself do not change your norms of life that is adequate sleep, no addictions, enough hydration, healthy diet, regular exercises and yoga and regular meditation. If you will move across or if you will follow these things, your norms of life in your uh, daily routine, then you will naturally get rid of your headache problem. So this is the another thing which you should always remember. And the third thing is always use an integrative approach. Like at, at our center, at Dr. Mankar's Homeo Clinic, uh, we also provide along with the homeopathic medicines, we also provide uh, the Reiki healing and the music therapy so uh, we have seen like you know uh, dr griva mankar who is a reiki practitioner in our clinic many times we have seen that when the medicines are going on and suppose because of some very extra triggering factor a patient is getting a severe headache then instead that we say them we ask them that uh, uh, you go for some painkiller or you go for some other medicines we generally say them that just wait we are passing you a reiki energy from the distance and then generally the patient's headache episode is getting reduced within the span of the half an hour or 45 minutes. So just bear a little, tolerate a little and use an integrative approach to reduce your head pain. This will help a lot in reducing your headache and dealing with your headache. So just as a summary I would say that there is an Arabian proverb that every head is having their own headache. So understand your headache, take a homeopathic treatment, will be more than happy to be an instrumental in giving you a pain-free life. Uh, so uh, reduce your uh, abnormalities of life and just be with the norms of life and along with that as I told that take a homeopathic treatment regularly. I'm sure that uh, the simple problem headache which might have become a most troublesome stuff for you uh, will be no more with you after the homeopathic treatment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your patience, full listening. And uh, keep asking any questions, any inquiries if you feel like. Uh, we'll be more than happy to communicate. Take care.